Big news! I've just learned there's a way to retire at 40. Yeah, 40! No, not 55 or 50. 40! And I'm not talking about some basic internet scam Silicon Valley genius or a lottery winner. No, early retirement is reachable for normal people with normal jobs. And more and more people choose to retire early. I mean, who wouldn't? And guess what? The only thing you need to retire at 40 are clear goals, careful planning and a different mindset. Rule number one is save money. Get yourself a big mattress because you're gonna have to hide a lot of money under it. The money you save today is the money you won't have to earn tomorrow. That's the one and the only thing you have to do to retire early. So, how much should you save? If we look at this table, we get our numbers. The rate in percents on the left and the working years left until retirement on the right. If we put aside 5% of our income, we will have to work for 66 years. So that kinda sucks. But if we add a zero to that five, we get to chill on our sofa only after 17 years of work. And if we can put aside 75%, well, then we really rock and get to watch TV after seven years of no TV. But okay, I hear you, not everybody can afford to put 75% of their income on the side. We have to live off of something. So here are more tricks on how to become financially free. Get your living costs down. Retirement basically means no more income, at least not active one. No more big fat check at the end of the week or the month. You have what you have, deal with it. This means you should adjust your cost of life to what you have. How much can you spend per month? What is the minimum amount of money you need to live comfortably? Write it down. Maybe you'll go a bit more to second hand shops and a bit less to Louis Vuitton. Go to the movies just once a month, Learn the art of DIY cosmetics or exercise at home rather than pay the gym membership. These are just some of the things people who want to retire early are doing. Some rent their house and live in a van, some move into smaller apartments, others don't own a car or rarely eat outside. Plan, plan, plan. First thing you need to figure out is how much money you're gonna need once you retire. Okay, so you have two options on how to do that. You can start a money diary where you note all of your purchases and keep doing it for at least a year. Or you can check out your bank account and follow your transactions there. Divide all of your spendings into categories, such as utilities, food, eating out, transport, apparel, entertainment, and so on. Determine how much money you spend per category and how much money you spend altogether. Is it reasonable or are you spending more than you make? Be honest and be harsh. Then you'll have to rock hard at work. Why? Because this is your main and maybe only source of income and you want it to be as high as it can get. Be a linchpin, network, keep learning and try to be more likable. Yes, all of it can contribute to a bigger retirement check. Worth it? I think so. If your current career is your only source of income, try to find other ones. A part-time job, blogging, starting a new business or investment. And talking about investments, passive income. Passive income is one of the key ingredients of early retirement recipe. It's not absolutely necessary, but it will make your life much easier if you know how to work with it. So in case you don't know, passive income is an income resulting from cash flow received on a regular basis, requiring minimal to no effort by the recipient to maintain it. Basically, it's money you get by renting real estate, trading, royalty payments for a book, music, or anything you don't participate in materially. Some people also consider their portfolio income as passive income. That means the money you get from your dividends. You know, like all those stocks you bought when you got your first big fat check? And if you haven't, well, maybe you should. Just like you should know yourself. That's also an important element of early retirement. People who retire early are usually pretty frugal. They live on a budget and know exactly how much money they can spend monthly. If you know your thing is to pop an overpriced bottle of champagne in a club every weekend, then maybe early retirement is not for you. Unless you're a millionaire, then it's alright. 
people who retire at 40 usually describe themselves as very simple people. People who enjoy saving money, spending time at home, cooking at home, or spending their vacation in a van traveling around the country. Knowing yourself is important because while you can force yourself to live frugally, this might mean you will literally hate your life. And you don't want that. Seen like that, retiring at 40 is not so hard, right? It requires good planning and a bit of self-control. Is it worth it? What do you think? Tell me in the comments. Is this something you would consider? Or is this something that you think is just too hippie for you? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like the video, share it and subscribe to not miss our next video. And see you then. Bye bye.